Lines of people to get COVID testing done through the Wake County Health Department started more than 30 minutes before they opened up. Appointments are all booked through midweek. CBS 17's Haley Fixler live outside of the County Health and Human Services building on Kid Road. And Haley, we saw long lines this morning. What are you seeing now? Well, as Bill, as you can tell, the lines still very much here. This wraps all the way down Kid Road and around the corner to Sunnybrook Road. And even though all of these people had appointments for today, they told me they are still waiting about an hour just to get swapped. It's crazy. Down the road and around the corner, bumper to bumper, drivers and passengers in these cars waited to get tested for COVID-19. But it was much longer than I anticipated. If you want to go through the Wake County Health Department, you're going to have to wait. I checked online and the earliest you can find a place to go is Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday. As we had a family gathering and I just want to make sure I'm safe. All of these people had appointments at the Health and Human Services building on Kid Road for this morning. I made it Thursday and still spent quite a bit of time waiting to get their tests. 40 minutes, maybe. For some, getting these tests means they can hop on a plane and travel internationally. There's travel restrictions to get into Aruba, so we have to follow the rules. Okay. So here we are. I'm due to fly back to England today at midday. A bit nervous today. I really want to get back. Rachel Woodhouse was visiting her sister for Christmas. She's now worried she won't be able to get home. Yeah, we have 24 hours to take our test before we fly back to the UK. Um, and I'm still waiting on results. And if they don't come in, I'm, I'm going to have to get another flight or something. So it's a bit stressful. She still hasn't gotten her results from a pharmacy PCR test she took yesterday. She hopes these tests help her get back sooner. You guys don't have like a rapid 24 hour guaranteed test testing system over here like we do in the UK. So at home, I pay for it and we're guaranteed results so we don't go through this. Now, even, even though it is required for certain destinations to get tested 24 hours before you travel, some people tell me and doctors are saying that it's actually best that you wait a couple of days after a potential exposure or after a big gathering to make sure that those test results are accurate. Live in Raleigh, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News.